Lake County is located about two hours north of San Francisco, right above the Napa Valley. The location doesn't see as many visitors as popular cities that surround it, and because of that, it's a hidden gem in the state. I had never been, so when the county invited us to visit, I jumped at the chance to explore a new part of California. What I found was small town charm, the largest freshwater lake in California, wineries, and an awesome volcano that you can hike, among other things. Here are some of my favorite spots in Lake County, and let me know what I left off in the comments. First up is Mount Kanoktai. Mount Kanoktai is the crown jewel of Lake County. This volcano juts out of the landscape and can be seen from all over as you drive around the lake and explore. The main way to experience it is to hike one of the mountain's five peaks. Along the way to the top, you'll see a cabin from the early 1900s, an amazing oak forest, and the remains of a plane crash. Then when you get to the top, the vista looking out over the lake is incredible. It was probably my favorite thing I did on my visit to Lake County. Next up is a visit to Kelseyville. Kelseyville is the quintessential small town with one main street that runs through it. Here you'll find great spots to eat along the main street like Pogo's Pizza and Saw Shop Public House. There's also a brewery in the town that makes great seltzers as well. Make sure to come when the shops are open as they're usually closed on Monday and Tuesdays. Kelseyville is also where we stayed, at a spot called Sweet on Main. Our room was 650 square feet and it was a great home away from home, especially with the babies. Check it out if you're looking for a good central location to stay during your trip. My next recommendation is Clear Lake State Park. About 10 minutes from Kelseyville, Clear Lake State Park houses multiple campgrounds, a few miles of hiking trails, and some of the most beautiful views in the county. I highly recommend going for sunset when the light shines through the trees and illuminates the creek that connects to the lake. There's also a nice small beach here too, with picnic benches and stunning views of Mount Kanoktai. Plus, it's a great place to see wildlife. I saw multiple deer while I was there. My next recommendation is Anderson Marsh State Historic Park. Anderson Marsh State Historic Park is the second of the state parks in Lake County. This park preserves a historic ranching property from the 1800s and there's many buildings you can walk around and explore. The park also features a few miles of trails that take you through wetlands and towards Clear Lake. It's another great spot along the lake, especially if you like history. Next up, spend a little time in the town of Lakeport. Located on the west side of Clear Lake, this is one of the biggest towns along the lake. Lakeport sits right on the water and has Library Park, which has stunning views out over the water to Mount Kanoktai. The park is also popular for fishing and for just relaxing on the grass. Next to the park is Park Place Restaurant, which is a good spot for a meal, and a few blocks up is the historic Courthouse Museum, which showcases a lot of the county's history. It's a nice spot for a half day in Lake County. My next recommendation is Blue Lakes. Of course, Clear Lake is not the only lake in Lake County. The Blue Lakes are a collection of two decent sized lakes, upper and lower, and they sit in the mountains and have a totally different vibe than Clear Lake does. If you feel adventurous, you can rent a kayak or boat and get out on the water, or you can just take it in as you drive by. I couldn't get on the water because of the wind when I was there, but let me know how it is if you go. Regardless, I still enjoyed seeing these beautiful lakes and it was well worth the drive from Kelseyville. My next recommendation is to visit some of the wineries. Much like the counties that surround it, Lake County has become a great destination for wine. There are over 30 in the county and we went to a few of them while we were there. Each of the three we visited had great wines and something unique to experience. The first, Chase Water Winery, makes olive oil and has an olive oil tasting you can do while you're there to wine taste. The second, Boutique, is located on a stunning property and features one of the country's largest collection of wooden boats. The property was beautiful and I could have spent all day just walking around and exploring. Lastly, Lajor Estate has an amazing down-to-earth vibe with charming people who run it and a simple, relaxed tasting experience. The main highlight of the property though is the incredible views you get from their back porch. It was one of the most beautiful views we saw while we were in Lake County. I'm sure there are more great wineries to visit in the county, but those are the only ones I got to experience. Let me know what your favorite is in the comments. My last recommendation is the Lunchbox Museum. If you've followed me for a while, then you know I love the more unique spots, and the Lunchbox Museum is just that. 
Run by the eccentric and amazing Deb, this shop and museum housed her collection of lunchboxes from decades of accumulating. Add to that that her husband has a love for the circus and carnival attractions which are spotlighted in the back of the museum and you have a truly unique way to spend an hour in Lake County. She also sells many unique toys here and I bought a small warhead lunchbox to take with me and remember my time. If you drive over to the museum from Lakeport or Kelseyville, stop at Upper Lake as well. This little town has the historic Tallman Hotel, a hotel from the early 1900s and a popular restaurant next door. That's it for my visit to Lake County. Hopefully this encouraged you to get up and explore and let me know what I left off and we'll see you on the next video.